Woke up with a sick hangover this morning. The payment for the Lombardi job came through, so I gave the crew some shore leave. Orbital tower Ivanta never fails to entertain. The neon glow of the Saturn lanes never sleeps. Crowds and crowds of workers mingle and drink and forget their dire lives for a few brief hours. It's tough being at the bottom of the ladder in an OT. Tougher still if you can't blow off steam once in a while. But I guess if it lets the life asleep a little better and there isn't a riot coming their way, then it's all good. Thaddeus, if you're checking this, and I hope you're not, that's not me inciting civil unrest, so call your CPU buddy. Figaro has been in touch again. The guy's quite persistent for offence. Usually they pass along a contract, you turn it down, and they offer it to another salvager. End of story. To be honest, the job is far out from my usual territory, but he's upped his offer for this new job and I'd be a fool to say no. Can't imagine why he's so keen on my crew taking a job, mind you. It's a long way out in the ocean system, so I need to start packing. Briggs is back to her usual self again. Girl cuts up the dance floor like a hurricane. Thaddeus might be the voice of the ship, but she's the soul of the crew. It affects morale when she's in one of her dark states. Glad to see her crack a smile again. Oh, and she bumped into Christus last night, so I gave her the morning off. He's a nice guy, but the bald head ponytail combo. It's just not my thing. Each to their own, as they say. We depart this evening. Alex Peterson out. <laughs>